Hello and welcome to the Halo Forge Epidemic. This is Oakley Hydef and I'm here to bring you the first video ever uh, exploring the potentials of Halo Anniversary. So I got it today, day of the release, and I'm going to be taking you through the different maps and exploring the uh, the Forge side of things. So as you can see here, we're on Ridgeline. I've deleted all the objects and then I've placed a few just to demonstrate what's going on. Uh, so one thing to note, you guys, uh, in order to play the maps if you bought Anniversary from your Reach uh, game, you have to use the anniversary map pack code that you're given. So right now, using the anniversary disc, I can't play the other Reach maps. I can't play on Forge World, and so it's you're limited to seven maps. If you want, if you want to play all the maps together, you have to go ahead and redeem your code, and you're given a code in the the disc for this anniversary. So that's just a note. All right, now back to the map itself. Uh, here you can see is a ridgeline. Obviously, I'm sure you guys have seen overviews and stuff like that given you from Bungie. Uh, we can see here a pretty low ceiling with a soft kill, and it's a pretty big map, uh, highly wooded as you can see, but you can clear out a decent amount of it uh, to allow for more maneuverability. Uh, right now I'll be focusing on the Forge palette. So I've taken a look at everything. Uh, it's pretty similar to what we have on Forge World. Of course, some objects are reduced, and I'll be going through that. But there are a lot of nice, actually really nice new additions that I can see uh, just pushing the limits of what we can do in Forge World uh, to a new level, which will be on Timberland. Uh, so first of all, here I've put down all the scenery pieces. So we have all our sandbags, uh, still the same pieces as normal. And then what we have over here is actually all the barricade pieces. Now, they look the same, but the two new additions are these Jersey Shore barricades here, Jersey Barrier there, and the, the short one. And the nice, nice thing about these is that you can uh, do damage to them and see chunks will flake off and stuff like that. And so what this is going to be used for is probably... Um, for some dynamic destruction, maybe in different types of games, but I think most predominantly it's going to be used in infection where the infected have to break through walls, etc. So, what you're going to be seeing is on this map tons and tons and tons of infection maps because the possibilities are much greater than in Forge World. Yes, Forge World, you can build bigger maps, but here there's a lot more potential to use destructible elements, more cover, etc., which is what is key for infection because in Forge World there's no destructible objects really. Uh, and here there are, so for those of you who are planning on doing infection, you're going to want to use Timberland, I mean, I'm sorry, Ridgeline actually, that's what it's called, and make sure to uh, to check us out because we will be covering a lot of infection tips and tricks for this map because I can see a lot of potential in it. So here you go, uh, the Jersey barricades that you can stand them upright and I'm sure the infected will have to break them down or something like that to get into your base. So there's a lot of potential. Uh, going into the crates uh, section, we have some similar crates. But now actually we have smaller crates. So what's nice about these, uh, these two crates here is that they can actually be broken apart, they can be moved around. So I can see uh, defenses against zombie made out of stack crates here, destructible pieces. So you're going to be able to make really nice defenses that the zombies have to slash through. So infection games are going to be really fun. Another cool addition is this box here, which is really large. We haven't seen these since the days of Halo 3 basically. And um, yeah, it's another nice box that you can use to break up the map, add cover. And I'm sure uh, there are ways to put this under the map using phased objects. Here you can see if I put it on phase, it's not going to go down. But uh, one trick that we learned from Halo 3 is if I go to building blocks, um, I'm going to go ahead and put a large block here. What you can do is phase it in to the object like this. Then what you're going to want to do is put this on normal, grab it, and it's going to be pushed into the ground. And then you put it back on phase. So that's how you're going to do stuff. It's basically like Halo 3. So I can see a lot of people doing this kind of thing. Um, so that's going to be really nice about this map. Um, another great addition are these pallets. Um, these things, these babies are destructible. So this is going to be really great for infection uh, where they have to break in through your doors. You can change the respawn time, etc. So look forward to some great dynamics using these destructible things. And so that's going to increase greatly what we can do for infection and also invasion and mini games. Uh, so look forward to all kinds of content which we'll be covering on this, on this channel. So once again, this is THFE, the Halo Forge Epidemic. Make sure to check us out. We're going to continue to bring you guys new stuff. Now, moving on. I deleted all the objects. One little glitch that I found is there was a, uh, a structure here. When I deleted it, there was this piece sticking out here with which holds a health pack. But you can't get rid of this actual bit. So that's a little, little glitch I found. Uh, and I'm sure lots of people will be encountering this in their maps. Uh, it's a little odd, but I'm sure we'll find a way around it. Now, moving on. There are more additions to the um, to the palette. If you go into the building section, there will be two new buildings. 
Um, this one right here is called the Bunker Overlook, and it's really nice because the other bunkers on Forge World were pretty underused. This one is nice, it's complex, and it does actually have a nice bunker feel to it because the last bunker on Forge World was really small. This one has a big entrance, has some cover here, and it has an overlook. So this is going to be much more used than the one in Forge World. Another piece that you'll be seeing here is a, the Gunner's Nest. And this is nice because it does give you a nice overlook position. It has a cool black color which you don't see much of and white lights. So you'll be seeing this used for different uh, different things, maybe even walls, etc. And it's very useful just as a gunner position. Uh, also right here, you can see in the decorative section you're going to have a small cover piece. Uh, this will be used for small, as the name implies, just cover around the map. And I'm sure people can make different aesthetics out of it. Now, another great addition to this map is um, this piece right here. And these are all actually one piece put together, and it's a tree dead. Now, you only get five of them, um, just because I'm sure it has a lot of pixelation to it, and it's hard to render for the game. But you have five of these, and you can rotate in any direction, use any part of it. Say you want a smaller tree, put that down, do whatever. Um, and it's really cool. You'll be seeing people using this a lot. If you just want to use a part of it on your base, like maybe you want the entrance to be look like it's boarded off, what you could do is have something like this where there's a tree or a branch coming through it. Another cool thing that I found about this is say you want to try and block off your base with a tree, you would think that would block everything off, but you can actually walk through these branches for the most part and go through. So what's like, what this is going to do is it allow you to make areas in the map where your vision is obscured. So this is going to be really cool for infection. Because now you're going to have destructible entrances, but also entrances where you can't see what's going on, but the zombie can rush through. So this is going to be a really cool dynamic. Uh, I can see a lot of sneaking around done in this, and there's a lot of potential. Alright, so back to the different pieces we have here. Um, all the rocks are back that we had in Forge World, but they have a new nice um, plating to them. These all have green texture to them, more grassy feels. So that's going to be really useful. Uh, another cool thing is back here, you have a of, uh, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that, we'll probably bleep it out, we have a ton of power-ups. You're actually allowed 35 different power-ups. Uh, I'm not sure we ever really needed that many, but this is a nice warm welcome. You can use a lot of custom power-ups now, overshields, uh, active camo, etc. So this is going to be useful for mini-games, or if you're trying to tweak different game types and need, for some reason, a lot of custom power-ups. I can also see some um, using custom power-ups with no effects to be... Um, to make some sort of mechanisms as we had in Halo 3 which would like you step on them and it releases a crate stuff like that so you you can look forward to that with the implementation of new movable objects also here you can see they've allowed us to make an AA gun no actually I'm pulling your leg uh, this is a piece the THFE built if you want to know how to build this it's uh, it's in our gun show but yeah uh, I just built this here to let you know that using the pieces here on Timberland we still have a good variety of pieces using decorative pieces, um, you can make many of the things we've shown you guys in the past. Here you go, I built one of our AA guns, and it looks nice. Uh, while we're talking about decorative pieces, I'm going to go ahead and go into that section. Um, there aren't really any new sections besides this small piece here. Other than that, it's pretty much the same, except they remove a couple key, uh, key elements. Uh, if I go into cover, they have this piece, uh, which is nice, that's going to be useful. But if I go to braces, the only brace piece here is this one. No longer do they have the brace large, which allowed you to make a nice uniform colored uh, wall. So we're not going to have any of those left, which kind of sucks. And then also, if you go into walls, we do have 50 of them, but there's no wall coliseum. So what you are going to see in this map is sort of a lack of walls. And that's going to be a little annoying for anyone who wants to build big, tall structures. But I guess that's not really what this map is going for. So. If you're going to be building those big, tall structures, what I would recommend doing is uh, using these different wall pieces. Um, we're going to be seeing a lot of these, but what I think we will be doing is using a lot of inclines because we have a hundred of these, and so what I think will become the new brace lodge is using these just as a wall like that, line those up, and make buildings out of that. So um, that's just what I foresee. This map has a lot of great potential. It's got nice bases. This one is overgrown. Put the tree in here, but it can easily be blocked off for infection using the pallets. Different ways up. The lifts there can be blocked off. You can make some sort of uh, lift here. All different areas of this map can be explore, explored and used. And it, I'm really excited uh, to see what people are going to be able to make out of this. There are different nooks and crannies. It can have for infection. Build little crate fortresses, different buildings, shacks, etc. Even places up here could be great for a holdout for infection, infection spawn, little caves here, 
uh, what you could also do is um, say you have this um, this waterway what you can actually do is go ahead and set down a whole line of these things and there you go you have an underground cave section to your map so you can make really great uh, infection settings in this and I'm excited to see what we're gonna make out of this also infection uh, or sorry invasion you can have secret passages coming through the water going to attack a base here so there's a lot of potential to this map and um, we're just beginning to scratch the surface so this is our first video I will be bringing more and more and more to you guys so make sure to uh, check in on us and subscribe as we bring you more and more features so this has been Oakley Hydef with the Halo Forge Epidemic and I am signing out guys thank you so much